So today we are going to be taking up the challenge of designing a logo in under 15 minutes. Yes, being a logo designer, I want to challenge myself. I want to see how well I can do if I am given a time constraint of 15 minutes. If I can complete the challenge, how well can my execution be? And just yeah, just have a fun little ride to see how the challenge can be. If you want to also try this, go ahead and let me know your results. So what I'll be doing is I'll be going on a, a platform where you generate fake briefs. There are many, but I'm going to be going off like a good brief dot com. And Vahase, I'm going to be generating a brief and no, I'm not going to start the timer when I'm generating the brief. I'll generate the brief. I will look at the brand name and everything the brand does. And then when as soon as I open Illustrator, that is when I start the timer. So that is when the 15 minutes timer will start. And yeah, so let's let's get started. I this is my first time doing it. So quite nervous. If this goes well, we're going to have a part two as well. So yeah, stick along the ride and let's start our 15 minute logo design challenge. Okay, so we are at our desk and uh, we are all ready to take up on this challenge and we are going to open um, a website of goodbrief or any other brief.com where we generate the fake brief and of course I'm not turning on the timer before I generate the brief because we literally just have 15 minutes. First we're going to uh, generate the brief, look at it, understanding it a little bit and then we're going to turn on the timer and as soon as we open Illustrator, the timer will turn on. So yeah let's get started cool so this is our system right here this is the timer it's right here for this for me in the screen and for you it's gonna be somewhere right here all right our fake brief website is right here we are gonna select logo in the type and for the industry we are gonna be selecting random there are a bunch of options but um let's go all out let's go random we don't know what we are gonna get and well let's generate our brief right now Got it. Poppy. We are a fashion company that sells fast fashion business clothing. Our items are made with low cost materials and are sold online only. Our target audience young adults, we want to convey a sense of nostalgia while at the same time being approachable. Okay, got it. You must create a logo using the information. They would prefer a word mark that uses the color purple. Logo will be used in the company website. Take into account the company's values. And okay, got it. Deadline five days, but I literally have 15 minutes, which is going to be right here on the clock. And Poppy, not a bad name to start with that sells fast fashion business clothing. Cool. And they would prefer a word mark. So we have to play along something with the word. They, we won't be able to create any sort of an icon or any sort of a mascot for it. And we need to make sure we use the color purple. Okay. So um, that is our brief. Now what we're going to do is we are going to open Illustrator and as soon as I open it, the timer will start. Okay, so I'm starting the timer right now. 15 minutes on the clock. We only have to create a brand logo for the company called Poppy. I don't know what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be spending two minutes on research and looking at fast fashion brands and logos and what is there already online. And then I'll come on Illustrator. Okay, so starting the timer in three, two, one. Got it, it started. Okay, so fast. Okay, I'm panicking already. Fast fashion brand logos. Okay, got it. Yes, of course, there is H&M, Zara. All these, if you notice, there are all word marks and they are very pretty simple word marks. Got it. Mm. Fast fashion brands. Okay. Fast fashion brands. There is Uniqlo, there is H&M. These are all fast fashion brands. And um, wow, so many brands have the word marks. Mango has these cut cut right here. Mm. Okay, we've spent one minute already. And got it. Let's do some. Please. Okay. What is a fast fashion brand? Uh, is a low price for stylish clothing that moves quickly from design to retail shows. Ah, okay, got it. Cool. So I think we've spent about two minutes and now we are going to open Illustrator, new file, create new, and here quickly we're going to put the text Poppy. It's a, it's a good name <laughs> for the brand Poppy. Yeah, it's a quirky name. Got it. So let's try Poppy in all caps. 
uh, i think the all caps not working i think this is better let's remove that uh let's try some different fonts uh maybe like play along maybe we want a serif kind of a feel because it's for young adults and we want a nostalgia kind of a feel to have so we have to keep that in mind do i want condensed do i want oh this is very poppy right here um there's one more font i know all around yeah this is something good i like this i like how this is looking we can like let's give another minute in selecting the logo type oh wait like this one as well let's have a much bolder one no we are not going with contents at all so yeah like these two a lot how uh, the look of the p because if you see there is o o o o all the four circles together and then there's a y there's a break between so that's good i'm just not liking how the y is coming right here you know that's bothering me a little maybe you can change that later okay cool so should we lock this i think yeah let's go ahead with this we don't have much time as well we'll create a duplicate we will go to object and expand this how are we looking on time 12 minutes oh my god okay so now as i said didn't like the y that much so what we are gonna do is we are gonna cut this ah uh, we are gonna cut this off and maybe we can even extend this does that look good does that look better mm, not sure I think the y is looking much bigger now what if we have it like that no it'll look like a g not like a y i think the y was fine the way it was maybe i was just overthinking it i think the y is fine maybe what we need to do is okay we can also have um a, a, a play with all the words up and out, up and down and we can have this right here copy how is this looking you know it, it kind of um gives like a fun feel to wear let's see if it's properly aligned so like three are up and two are down i'm quite liking this it's, it's adding a touch to the logo and okay 10 minutes left let's let's have a look at the brief again so we need to create a warba that is purple got it Our items are made with low cost materials and only sold online okay got it I think I think having this poppiness like up and down thing really works. So let's stick with it. Is this P looking? What if we have the Y and no, the Y will look off. I just have a feeling that the P is looking a little bit off when it's down. Yeah, it kind of looks off. I think we should have it in the same um, space right here. confusing <laughs> or this was looking fine because maybe it was the spacing yeah and for this i feel like we should have something which is not going too curved so we can have this pick like this yeah that's much better instead of having the entire curve touching the y we should have like a seamless gap in the middle so and we should also be optically balanced yeah i'm liking the y now better than this one you see how much of a difference it made i'm also thinking of pushing this y a little bit up what if ah uh, what if we push the y slightly up Ready? No, I'll spoil it. I think, uh, okay, we have literally eight minutes right now. 
um i think this is fine maybe like a little adjustments here and there yeah yeah i think this is good good to go uh, i'm still not sure wait should we have p and y both down or i think y was fine up there maybe we can try another variation where uh uh we can try another variation where this p is down as well but the o is up and then this p is down and this p is up no this just looks way off i think this works okay either this or this we'll quickly decide that now let's come to the colors we need to make sure that it's purple so go ahead with it's a is it a fast fashion brand yeah it's a fast fashion brand the colors need to be very vibrant and we'll go ahead with something like this okay control command let's see how it's looking so let's have this in white color and yeah i mean it works let's see how this is looking we need to take a decision quickly okay which one which one is speaking to me i honestly think uh is the bottom one i don't know why but at the bottom one okay let's just get rid of this cool deleted here is our logo we have made our logo finally now coming to let's just hide these guys let's just make this a square ah freak let's just have this okay we lost no got it so we're gonna extend this Ooh, this is very stressful g we also can't have just one color let's have a proper color palette I'm gonna group this and gonna make this got it so how's the time six minutes okay not bad not bad it's a fast fashion brand so uh let's say the packaging of the entire brand uh will have uh like a sort of like a seamless pattern so what we're gonna do is we can actually use the p to create like a pattern so what if we create something like this i don't know it's just random and we group this and use the radial tool right here to uh, let's remove this so this can be like a, a brand pattern i would say this also looks like that um safety pin i guess um kind of looks like that and we can have this how is this looking that can be used as a brand asset we can also have um the single p oh wait i forgot to make a pattern so let's just keep this one side and uh let's use the p okay let's create pattern right here you're gonna duplicate it so it's pop e okay got it so need to create a seamless pattern oh what we can do is we can yeah we can combine this let's say we group this and we go to object okay what's the time four minutes okay that's very less uh let's go to pattern make okay what happened no 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 i can't see anything wait why can't i see anything okay never mind uh, let's let's cancel this let's do this outside so we'll go to object pattern and make cool perfect so now we have oh wow i'll actually like this yeah let's click on done it's, it's a cool it's a cool pattern so what we can do is we'll go your we will i think this is a pattern we'll go to m and we created this sort of a brand pattern got it now that's done um let's duplicate this more times we need to create um uh, an emblem okay 
so a lot of times uh what's the time okay three minutes that's way less a lot of times brands have these sort of an emblem kind of a thing which no this is this is looking bad not liking this so this can be like a centerpiece and we can have the right in the middle hand mark okay it's increase the stroke i don't think i'll be able to complete this let's create this it's sort of an emblem right here okay and we need one more stroke to have the line on it control v paste let's have it somewhere in the middle the text tool is right here type on path okay so copy clothing co dot i don't know something random so we need to increase the another stroke okay let's change the font to something bold uh not going too much with the font right here we also need to make sure that it's in the center okay so this will come right here and this will come also it should be white that it's visible Oof. okay what's the time okay 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 we are very low on time gotta increase the size and so this is right here we're gonna duplicate this and have it at the bottom as well yeah that is it and we're just gonna i know it's not perfect but don't have time but i'm actually liking how this is looking you know so we created our brand pattern this is our logo and let's say you want to use just the logo so you can actually just use the p and this dot that will become brand mark oh okay we have one minute let's quickly get some images fast fashion shoot ah uh, i wish i used to type fast okay images let's let's get ah uh, which is giving okay this is very bad i think this is fine we'll choose this image copy it by my opening paste it you'll have it right here and we can have our entire logo control g right here copy i know very low on time uh what else what else how much okay 13 seconds that was it okay let the timer get to an end five four three two one cool that's it that's it <laughs> let me cancel this okay so let's have a look at what we just created that was stressful okay honestly that was stressful i would recommend you to try to do this okay so the entire idea was to create something fun and something quirky because since it's a fast fashion brand it should not be too serious okay that is why we chose this typeface the font we've chosen was all around gothic i just knew that this font would really work well with the entire name because the p o and double p um, all have that round in the middle and um, using the p and the inverted p it created this sort of like a brand pattern this can be used in packaging and the stores and anywhere i also created like an emblem like uh, sort of which can be used on caps on like t-shirts and stuff like that and um, a very minimal type of brand mark which can be further used for branding so yeah and just got one mock-up done uh, which was a simple image and the use of pop right here i mean looking at this this looks like a pretty legit brand honestly if we just add like a trademark here it looks pretty legit so this is it this was what i did in my 15 minute logo design challenge not gonna lie was pretty hectic but a pretty fun challenge 
I would recommend you what do you, um sorry not recommend but I would challenge you to take up this 15 minute challenge I got this idea from a fellow designer called Abby Connick so credits to her and um she's a super fun designer and I love watching her videos and yeah I would um challenge you to take up this and make sure your brief and the brand name and everything is not pre decided because when you know what it is the logo is already developed in your mind okay make sure it's fresh and new and you do it on the spot and yeah okay that, that I'm just going to take a break and see you all in the next video bye